Uh, we lost a broadcast legend yesterday, and that is uh, Bob Wolf. Uh, Bob was in studio with us. Uh, yeah, I thought it was a year ago. It was actually back in 2014. Wow. When he was uh, 93 years old. And uh, you know, Bob Wolf always uh, will have a special place in my heart because he was my first ever mentor. And when I was in high school, I took a broadcasting class solely because it was Bob Wolf that was teaching at a pace in Westchester. And uh, Bob Wolf, for those of you that are under 30, you probably never heard his name. Uh, but Bob Wolf called uh, every major sporting event in this country, let alone here in New York, as the voice of the Knicks. He was the voice of the Rangers yep. for a long time. Uh, he was the voice of the Westminster Dog Show at Madison Square Garden. Uh, has not worked, did not work at the Garden for almost 30 years now. Colts Brazil. Giants championship yep. game, Don Larson's uh, perfect game in the World Series. He called every major uh, championship mean, uh, in the, every the, sport. The resume too. is long and lengthy, and he was actually broadcasting up until six months ago. Yeah, he was at Long Island uh, News 12. Uh, so I just wanted to acknowledge uh, Bob's passing. We'll play some of his audio a little bit later on this morning because uh, there's, a, there's a great lesson uh, having met Bob Wolf. And here's a guy that truly had done it all was at the pinnacle of the careers that we've chosen and still had great humility um, and a sense of a selflessness where he never wanted to be the story. We live in a world now where we want to be the story, and we are the story sometimes, uh, as opposed to the people that we're supposed to be talking about right. and their on-field the exploits. So I just want to acknowledge uh, it's, a, it's a sad loss. He was 96 years young, but thoughts and prayers go out to Rick, his son, and the rest of the Wolf family as we lose Bob Wolf last night.